Here we go. Here we go. What is this? Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Arc Pugnacia Adventures. Finally, I'm back. Oh, my God. Um, I have gone, been going through the last couple of weeks, kind of a drama here, trying to get into Pugnacia. Uh, there was an update to Pugnacia itself, and then an update to the volcano. Two updates to the volcano island, uh, or the volcano map, this map, uh, since I was last on. And uh, at around the time that happened, I just could not connect to the server. I just kept getting all kinds of weird errors. And um, I was just going back and forth, reinstalling ARC, uh, uninstalling, deleting files, doing everything that they'd say to do. And, uh, and at the same time, other people, at least one other person was able to get on here. Krusty Pickles was able to get on here. So I figured, well, there's nothing wrong with the server. It's got to be me. Guys, it wasn't me. It was the server. And you know what the problem was? Is that one of the mods we had that we installed, in fact, it was a mod that Krusty Pickles asked us to install uh, for some cool hairstyles. Uh, that mod author deleted it from the mod workshop. Mod authors, don't do that. Please. I mean, you can mark your mod as obsolete or whatever, uh, or, you know, cripple it or whatever, but don't delete it because when you do that, servers just, uh, if somebody has that mod on their hard drive already, it doesn't get deleted when you delete it from the workshop. It stays on their hard drive, uh, on their client, and the server, if the server is using it, it'll stay on the server. And what the result is that if anybody ever clears out uh, their mods, which I happened to do right at that time too, I happened to clear out my mods because I just wanted to reset my mods to just the ones I wanted, just the ones I was using on my servers. And when I did that, I didn't have that hairstyle mod anymore and I could not connect. It just kept giving me that error. Now Krusty still had it, so he was able to get in, so that made me think it was my client. Which it wasn't, it was the server. So once I removed the mod from the server, boom. I was able to get in, and boy, that took a couple of weeks for me to figure out. You know, it wasn't a couple of weeks of nonstop effort. Come on, let's be serious here. I was, I was doing other things. <laughs> I'm live streaming a vanilla series, well, vanilla dino series, heavily modded vanilla dino series of Arc, which I'm really enjoying. But I really wanted to get back in here because I wanted to show you guys. I, I literally, I just joined. I have not seen the changes to the map. I can see some of the changes to the map, and I really shouldn't use that spyglass. That's the one that crashes everything. Uh, no, that's Super Spyglass. Okay, I can use Super Spyglass. Um, this thing out here looks... Is that new? That may not be new. Well, there's changes. <laughs> and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to find out what those changes are. We're going to go fly around and we're going to take a look at them. And I think... Let's use Birdo. First thing we're going to do is there were those areas that were marked. And, and by the way, the, one of the first things I'm noticing is the lighting has changed considerably on the volcano map. Um, I'm actually gammaed up right now because here's normal gamma. Everything is really dark over here. This used to be a, a, a well-lit area. Not, not too bright, but real, really well lit. Now, middle of the day, noon. And look how black everything is. I don't get that at all. All right, whatever. So, but I mean, I can see the map just fine. It's just right where I am. Everything is black and dark. So something weird has happened. But like I said... Uh, he updated the map. He had those areas that he had marked off as, uh, you know, stay away from. One of them was over here. And apparently he's made those changes. So we're going to come over here and we're going to take a look. He said he's added some new caves we want to take a look at. Oh, all this water is new, I think. I'm pretty sure all that water is new. Pretty sure that wasn't here before. So let's see what's over here. Let's fly along here. He says he's also updated these drops. They drop with different items now. You got rid of the scorched earth uh, drops, or at least uh, not. You wouldn't find a drop now with just scorched earth stuff on it, which is kind of cool because that was kind of annoying. So that's one change. Is that water back there? What else has changed? I wonder. Um, I can't remember all the areas that were marked now, as uh, you know, as changes coming. That was one. Oh, this is it down here too. Yeah, this whole waterfall area down here. So this comes down this waterfall. This is cool. Or is there a cave back behind this? This would be awesome if there was. I don't see a cave back. Oh, oh. I don't think that's a cave. Let's find out. I wonder what happens if Birdo fly, falls into this water, flies into this water. What happens? Nothing. But it's not a cave anyway. <laughs> it's just a wall. 
Okay, let's go down here. As we go down, let's take a look. Pan out here. Pull out here, I should say. That's a little ledge, but I don't think that's a cave either. That's a cool ledge, though. I like that ledge. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of wet looking here, but it's not really wet, I don't think. Although it does sound like it's squishing on water. This would be a cool place to build. <laughs> Alright, and then further down... Uh, something back over here, I think, maybe? No. Nothing over there. Birdo, fortunately, can go underwater, so I don't think I'll ever get kicked off here. But yeah, that's pretty cool. My whole waterfall thing on, on the volcano is all new. And this whole area down here is all new. Is it is it formerly a swamp area? No, it looks like it's just a, a waterway. And it's getting really... Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, man. I'm going to gamma up now because... Guys, I can't see anything. There we go. Gamma 5. Oh, look at this cool bridge. This is cool. Whoop. Land Virgo. There we go. Oh, I love it. So what happens out here? So this is also new, I guess, coming out to the water here. All right. That's cool. Very cool. All right. Um, other areas... There was an area in the desert. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, here's the back of the desert. There was a no-build area over here as well. So there's the green tower. And I think this area here to the right, all of this. This land out here, jutting out here, is all new. This was not here before. Kind of a rocky area here in the middle of the desert. It's kind of cool. I wonder what this is for. Is this kind of another wyvern place, I guess, maybe? Or it's just a rocky area in the desert. Carnos galore. And it juts out of here into the water. And I can't see it because there's some kind of a fog thing going on here. Rain and fog thing. I get it back down. Um, I'm just, everything is black. Everything is really weird. This, this reminds me of what uh, Scriptar was talking about when he was having weird lighting issues. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's quite the same. So there's one of the new caves. Here in the desert. I think. Well, yeah, we walked right through it. But yeah. So down over here in the southeast corner. All right. There's one of the new caves. Just kind of curious what's down here. I think this is new. Pretty sure this is new. Let's just get all this stuff out of the way here. <laughs> and a new drop. Or a drop, I should say. Ooh, that's dangerous. Snakey poos. Coming up here? We'll just get off. What's in this drop? Ooh. We got a... Uh, oh, there we go. We got, we got one of these guys. Uh, another one of these golden kibbles. And some cool chitin armor. I don't use chitin, but it's still kind of cool. What else is down here? Goes to the right and to the left. The left goes back to some water. And I presume there's something in the water. Lots of piranha. Can't seem to attack them. Don't know why. There we go. This, um, this Sarko seems to be having a grand old time here with a bunch of piranha on him. There we go. And we'll kill all these guys. We'll take a look down here. Uh, is this the way I came in? No, it is not. Oh, look, there's a boss, but he's probably on the outside. Let me kill this guy. Come back here. What are you doing running away from me, buddy? Get your butt back here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is a new area. This is the other side of the water. Which I wonder if it's where the other direction went when we came through. If we had gone the other direction, it could have come over here. Alright. All those guys out of the way. Ah, yeah, there's the artifact. Let's see what artifact this is real fast. The artifact of the crag. Cool. Okay, so here we are at the fork. That's the way I went to the water. This is the other direction. I don't think it connects because the only way out of that that uh, artifact area was back through the water. So this is definitely a different direction that has another drop. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is intended to kind of mislead you. You go this direction because it's easier. And you see the drop and you're like, well, where's the artifact? And then you figure out you have to go into the water. Cool. Another golden kibble. That'll work. That'll do. That'll do. And that's it. I don't think there's anywhere else to go in here. Okay. Well, let's leave this cave and let's go look for the next uh, area of the map that has been changed. The volcano is one we have to go to because that's one that uh, he highlighted pretty... Uh, uh, pretty significantly in his release notes. And look at this. Since we've left the cave, all the lighting is correct. Well, I was going to say it's all correct, but I guess it's still a little weird. All right, whatever. Yeah, this whole section is new. This whole rock section out here where the cave is. This is the old desert back here. And then that island, the, that lava island over there, that little volcano, uh, had some changes marked for it as well. I think there's an underwater cave. Maybe it's back here. He said there was an underwater cave as well. Maybe it is back here. Hmm. I don't know. Although he's got some nice animals in here now. I don't think the water was that well populated before, but it looks like it's, he's doing a good job of adding to it. Okay, I couldn't find the underwater cave over there. He didn't say where it was. He just said there's an underwater cave, so it's probably not where the above ground one was. Uh, there's nothing there, although he did say he improved the underwater area over there in the south, and he certainly did. So we're going to go over here to the volcano, the crater here, um, the caldera, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, and that seems to uh, be indicated in the release notes as having some significant changes. So, so far, no changes I can see from here. We used to come up here all the time for metal and stuff, so let's hope our teleporter is still intact. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's been some changes. Our teleporter is not intact. Absolutely not. Um, we're going to have to put another one down here somewhere. There might be one in the terrain. I'd almost hate to teleport to it and, and see where it is, but um, we'll definitely get another one down here. So there was, there's metal and obsidian and crystal up here on the rim. Let's come kind of fly over here. There we go. Go into K mode. There's more up on that rim. There's a walkway you can you can kind of come down a spiral. It spirals down. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of resources down there. Is that crystal that can be harvested? This? So it's a new model for crystal, but can be harvested as crystal. It sure can. Can this? Orange stuff? No. That's just for decoration. Okay. But it looks pretty cool. Can you get down to the lava ed lava's edge itself? I doubt it. Fortunately, there's nothing on that center little bit that you need to get to, so that's pretty cool. So if this is kind of a slope down, how do you can you actually walk into the volcano now? You can. He's created a path all the way up to the volcano. He didn't used to have that. He used to have to get here by bird only, pretty much. Uh, unless you had teleporters. But to get the teleporter, of course, you had to have a bird. <laughs> So it's cool that you can actually get up here on foot now. That's awesome. All right, we're going to have to set up some new resource or new resource teleporter up there. Did you do anything to the fort down here? The fort that used to be down here, that still is down here, the ruins. Oh, here we go. Here it is up here. He did the last, uh, last rev of the map prior to this one. He put the cave in here, and it's still there. Uh, you, can, you can still see through the side, though. There's still that hole there, and you can get into this cave. So that's cool. That's very nice. All right. Ooh, a little spooky. Um, there are still some more changes. Uh, one of them is up at Sheep Island. You know where uh, uh, it's either Krusty or Game Shark. Somebody was setting up a place. I think it was Krusty uh, initially, and then chose to go somewhere else. He's made some changes. He said that he's connected it to the mainland, and you can see he has. Um, up here to the kind of the center of your screen is Sheep Island, and it's now connected to the mainland. 
No, wait a minute, that's not Sheep Island. No, that's not Sheep Island at all. That's where, um... That's where Sperry's built, right? Yeah, and Sperry's stuff's still there. That's Sheep Island. Huh. Thought he said he connected it to the mainland. Don't know. Let's, let's pass by Sperry's joint here. Uh, which, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, should still be here. And it is. Okay. It's got all this stuff. And this... This was Sheep Island. And I don't see it connected to the mainland. I'm not quite sure what he meant there. Um, let's see here. Middle volcano. Landscape of Sheep Island is now part of the main landscape. No extra... No extra what? No extra landscape for the island. Huh. I don't really know what he meant, and of course it's really dark now. Uh, it had an interior bit, it still has an interior bit. So I wish I remembered what this looked like. And how it could be different. Because there was always an interior bit here, and it's still here. Huh. I don't see a difference, maybe you guys see a difference. Okay, well, moving on. <laughs> um... He's reworked a lot of the spawners, although that's all kind of pretty much overridden by Pugnacia anyway. And some other landscape changes for the snow biome coastline in the northeast. Oh, that kind of means let's go check out real fast and see. What are you? What are you burning down here? Oh, that's our <laughs> that's where we started. This is our starter area where we had our torches, where we did the uh, season intro. Let me go to my my winter underwater base. Maybe he's changed something around there. Uh, oh, I can tag my, my bases now as favorites. That's right. It's one of the cool things about the awesome teleporters now. I can move all of my bases to the top. And including free dino parking, because some, some of my stuff is there. And my base. All right, so. Um, underwater pen, winter cave base. Let's go take a look there and see what's, uh, see what's changed in this area. And are we at the northeast? Oh, this is this the same? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I think so. Uh, northeast, yeah, we are northeast, and that's what he said, right? Um, in the northeast, yep. So he's changed the coastline over here somewhat. There's grinder. Here's my underwater base. So let's go check out what he's done to the coastline in the northeast and what he's changed. Uh, there's one thing. That land bridge was not there before. The land bridge connecting from where we can get um, penguins and and stuff, oil and organic polymer, to the main island. He created a land bridge. Well, that's cool. I like. Is that it? Let's kind of fly up a bit here. A little hard to see. Maybe some additional island material. I'm not sure. Hmm. I think that's it. I think it's that land bridge, mostly. That is definitely cool. What is that? Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh. This is Wyvern Island, right? This is the small volcano? It's hard to see because of the lighting and the map is acting really weird. Gamma 2.75. Yes. This is... I believe... Wyvern Island? Yes. What I was calling Lava Island. Wow, the lighting is just so whacked right now. I think he's done something wrong with the lighting. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm having a lot of fun with his changes. We need to find that underwater cave, though. All right, I think I remember reading or hearing that the cave, the underwater cave, is back behind the Lava Island, the Wyvern Island. So let's go ahead and dive into the water here. Take a peek. Uh, see, first of all, if it's on this side. I think it's in the back, though. Oh, well, maybe not. That definitely looks like a cave entrance to me. What is this, a crashed shuttle? It is. We had a crashed spaceship in the uh, lake, the frozen lake up in the winter biome, and then there's a crashed shuttle down here and an underwater cave underneath the lava island. Where do I go, though? Let's go to the right. Always go to the right. Let's see here. 
I don't always go to the right. I went to the left in an earlier cave. Um, but I'm making it up. All right, what is that glowy thing down there? Well, that is an animal. It's one of those shocky guys. And he's coming towards us. They are all coming towards us. But that's okay. We can deal with them. I don't think Shocky, Mr. Shocky Guy is going to get me either. Hope not. Alright. Yeah. No problem. Uh, more people coming at us. There's a snail coming. Multiple snails coming. I didn't know the snails were aggressive. Maybe they're not. Oi. What's all this stuff going on over there? Electrocuted. Really wish I could... Okay, can I land in the water? No. There we go. Well, there's an eel. And he's gone. Okay. More stuff under here. All of our stats look good. Uh, is that a whale up there? Or just a megalodon? I don't know. We're just going to keep going. We're going to ignore those guys. We'll fight here all day if we, we want to. <laughs> we want to do that. Just want to go through and see what's around here. See what kind of artifacts we might have. I do believe there is an artifact in here somewhere. What is that effect I've got down there? Rage. Okay. My crafting speed has increased because <laughs> I'm enraged. Um, hmm. Here we go. Here we go. What is this? What is this? Is that where the artifact is? Is that what it's telling me? Do I have to go into the ship to get the artifact? Huh. This is cool though. The spaceship is underneath here. Really cool. How do I get in this thing? Do I get in this thing? Hmm. Uh, do 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 do. Not through there, apparently. Back here. I think I was already up there. I can't get in that way. There's something down there, but I'm gonna go this way. It just loops around anyway. Oh, what's what's that? Oh, it's one of these big things. The squid thingies. Wow, I thought it was part of the ship for a minute there. So I thought this might have been like one of those underwater bubbles that you could fly through. But it doesn't. What is going on? Why is everything bright orange now? Is it going to be bright orange again if I come over here? It is. Some kind of a lighting defect in the map. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can I get in down there? No. I don't know how to get into this thing. If I'm supposed to get into it, I don't know if I'm supposed to get into it. Uh, what was that down there? What is that? No, nope, that's just sand. Okay. Well, there's an artifact in here, supposedly. I think. Maybe I went the wrong direction. Instead of going right, I should have gone left. So we'll go back and uh, go the left direction and see if we can find something. Okay, there's the entrance we came in. There's the right way. Let's go to the left. See if there's anything over here that's of any interest. Uh, or is it going to be the same old, same old? Are we going to have a... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Don't know what that is. Looks like a Vorlon ship. If you know, if you know that reference, let me know. Uh, ooh, what was over here? No, nothing. Uh, it's continuing. Oh, 
don't see an artifact yet. Megalodons. More Megalodons. I'm going to keep going to the left here. I could have gone that way to the right as well. It's a big cave if I haven't repeated any terror. No, no, here we go. This thing is still running along here and going up now. Let's see if maybe this is leading us to the artifact. There's a chance, right? No, it's leading us up and out of the cave again. What is this going to, though? Huh. What is this? I am really curious what this thing is now. And dead end? Dead end. Very strange. And it looks like you can squeeze. No, can't squeeze in. Right there. So, okay. No idea what that is. But it's definitely way into the cave. Let's go over here. I don't think the uh, artifact will be this close to an entrance, though. It looks like it's probably buried in further. Probably have to take a left now. That right that I skipped before. Uh, right over here, I think. It's going to be a left turn. And I went the other direction. Right over this way. Yep, over here. I did not go over here, I don't think. So maybe the artifact's over here? I'm going to watch my stamina. I'm getting shocked by eels as I swim by. That's what you're seeing and hearing. Uh, so far, nothing. A lot of room down here. Not a very cramped cave. Oh, 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 oh. Artifact? Or not? Let's tell you to follow me. Birdo, come over here. Uh-oh. That's not good. Fortunately, they're not knocking me out. It's still annoying. Birdo, where are you? You're up there. Okay. Thanks for helping, Birdo. Get over here. Stupid eels. Doing one point of damage to me in my volcanic armor. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Get over here. You guys are stunned more than I am. I really wish I could see them as they're attacking me. It's very annoying. There, okay, he's finally gone. This guy is hiding from me for some reason. Oh, trank arrows. I don't really care. Same here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't want them. What is this? The loot container, not an artifact container. And there's Birdo. Birdo, why are you swimming up there, man? Come on, let me get on you. There we go. Come on down. <laughs> where did that artifact, where was I? That artifact container was over here, right? I think so. It was. So... Hmm, if we keep going, is there anything down here? No. Alright, well, or not, not that artifact container, you know what I need, the drop. So I don't know, oh, oh, right here. I was going to say, I don't know where the artifact container is. Well, here it is. Let's fight these guys off and see what artifact is in here. Alright, anybody else? Anybody else want some? Come on. Okay. Uh, Berto, will you stay with me now? Since I already told you to fall... No. Of course not. It is the artifact of the gatekeeper. So I have the gatekeeper and the crag. Awesome. Berto? What are you doing, Berto? 
Told you to follow me. You're supposed to stay underwater when you when you are on follow underwater. <laughs> there we go. All right, folks. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Finally back on Pugnacia. <laughs> Looking forward to more. We're going to look at all the new Pugnacia stuff in the next episode. Then we're going to continue our taming series. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.